From WFSB, this is an Eyewitness News update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Wendell Edwards, and we're on top of several stories on this Monday morning. We start in the capital city. Police are searching for killers after a deadly weekend in Hartford. There were three homicides in the span of two hours, police say. Both investigations are unrelated. Police have a suspect for the shooting on Weathersville Avenue, but investigators are still trying to find the suspect or suspects who they say killed two men on Sterling Street. Now this morning in Manchester, police are asking for your help identifying this man suspected of car thefts and credit card fraud. Police are still gathering evidence right now, but they say this man is their main person of interest, and anyone with information is asked to contact Manchester police. Also happening today, the man accused of making threats against two Catholic churches in Farmington will appear in court. 41-year-old Michael Pickering was arrested after a long standoff with police in Bristol Friday. Police say he made online threats targeting both St. Patrick's and St. Mary's Catholic churches in Farmington. He's been charged with a bias crime, which is a form of a hate crime motivated by religion. Lauren? All right, it's going to be a rainy and wet kind of Monday out there. So if you're heading out the door, definitely grab the rain gear. But uh, we also could see some flooding risks. We have been put in the level two category for excessive rainfall, maybe some torrential rainfall possible for western Connecticut uh, and actually some areas of central and level one risk for eastern Connecticut. Also, this threat for some strong to severe storms later on this evening. It looks like there's a pretty strong uh, system that's going to be moving through. You can actually see areas to the west of us greater impacted by this. It might fizzle out a little bit by the time it gets to us, but we could still see some gusty wind with that system and some heavy rainfall. 78 to 81 degrees below average temperatures for today, and that rain looks like it kind of wraps up around noon or one o'clock, so then we just get some uh, quick sprinkles, maybe some spot showers this afternoon before that storm system kind of rolls in, so you could see it making an impact on New York, uh, and then bringing some potential for heavy rainfall and maybe some storms through the overnight hours as well. Here's a look at our early warning seven day forecast and temperatures get a, still stay in the 80s, but we definitely improve on Wednesday. Sunny, breezy Thursday. Also the chance for some showers in the afternoon.